Hello YouTube. Today I will be showing you how to speed up your f FPS frames per second on the Dolphin emulator 4.2. Here. So first, we're going to go to the link in description. We're going to download something called Razer Cortex Game Booster. And there might have been some previous videos on um are you a bit game booster? Um, Razer Zone is a um, it's like a updated game booster, but it's called Razer Cortex. Um, I'm not sure if anyone's posted this, but um, if you have, I'll be just like doing the latest latest update. Um, it will actually um, it's this is actually guaranteed. It, it, like when I was on a Dolphin emulator, um, when I played Wii Sports. Or any other game I had, it was like on um, tw um twelve or twenty FPS, but when you boost it, it will go to thirty three, which is a significant um difference. Um, so yeah, that's why I recommend you using this program to help you boost your um um uh thing, gaming. I know um PC your um your PC last ban will like be boosted will be in top shape so if you just hit download now and then like save the setup where you know it will be and by the way you're gonna have to make a, a something called a razor ID you others you can't use the program it will ask you to log in first thing so here is you have to enter your email password your um, ID your name your gender your birth date and you capture and then you hit submit by the way the email should be a um like an email that you use and you can get into not those fake emails so just be aware of that okay the setup has finished so we are going to start the setup up just wait for the uac and we're going to proceed through the setup uh, so, and you just have to wait for it to install. Just finishing the installation, and untick these two, or tick the first one. Hit finish. Now I'll be losing loading Razer Cortex. Now it's asking you to log in. So I'm gonna pause the video here and I just enter my um login details, and I'll come back to you when I've um logged in. Okay, I've just entered my details, so I'm gonna hit login. So I'm logging. I'm logged into my account, and as you can see, I've already got a program here. That's I've already added Dolphin, but um, I've actually um got two versions of Dolphin. Um, one we speak version, especially for like um Just Dance, 2014 and 15, because when you play on the official version, um, it doesn't work. So I just need to add that in. Um, let me just search up my hard drive. Um, where is it? And just hit open, find the program, and just hit a general background. And I'm just gonna be grey, and that's it. You've added your program, but now we want to boost our program. So if you just like just leave everything as it is and hit boost now, it's gonna boost your game. And you've it's just boosted, it will terminate all the unnecessary processes, services, and non Windows services, and any other crap. So if you hit diagnose, this will generate a report based on the FPS, your performance, graphics, and all those techie stuff. Tweak, I've never messed around with because I don't really use it. It's not really important for game boosting. Defrag, though, is quite important. It will give a significant speed up of a few 5-6 frame rates up. So I sped up both of these because I use both of these Dolphin versions. So it won't take this. This won't take. It, it's not a proper defrag. It only take like a few minutes to defrag, or a few seconds, I should say. And it's defragmenting the selected files. Please wait, and that's it. And if you just go back into defrag, and then I'll just um, defrag my other one. And 
and you can see it's done. Now the last thing we need to do is go into FPS. Um, well, it's not really. We don't really need to edit anything here, but you can choose where the display is. Sorry for the FPS. For some reason, it's not showing up anymore. But I just left it at the right top because normally in Dolphin Emulator, where the FPS is, it's going to be around here. So I just leave it on the right top and see the other FPS. Um, deals. Um, or nothing else is important. So we we're, we're not gonna um. We're not gonna run the game directly from the um, directory. We are gonna go into Razor um, Cortex. Um, let's go into this version, and then you hit Start Game. It will terminate all the processes um, to optimize Dolphin. It's loading. It's um, and then it's the background terminization. As you can see, I've already got a game installed. Um, I need to hook up my Wii remote, so just give me a minute, guys. I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm gonna come back to you when I hook up my Wii remote. Okay, guys, I've just hooked up my Wii remote. Um, so now, what we're gonna do after we've um booted our game, we're gonna give some extra boost to our game. So we're gonna go to something called config, and we're gonna enable dual core and enable idle skipping. We must have these two unticked. I mean, ticked. Sorry. Um, these are all by default. Um, enable cheats is optional, but when I have unticked, it's fine. Frame limit should be 60, because apparently some people will say on a form, um, like on a website, when you keep it at 30 frames per second, just dance will work. But it's not like that. I tried 60, and what's the point of having it on 30? You'll be so slow. So that's why I kept it on 60. Um, yeah, it'll, it's the best frame rate. It's the yeah. Uh, limit by FPS. Do not tick this. Sorry, that. Um, if you tick this, it will just limit your FPS. It won't. It can't even reach. You can't even over limit it. Um, um, depending on the type of um version you have, they m these might be different settings. Um, theme doesn't matter. Language, whatever language you prefer. Audio. This is where some people get confused with which sound is better or not. Um, you'd rather keep on X Audio 2 because it's like um, the best and it's higher quality. Uh, for the D DSP emulator engine, we want it obviously on fast. For some games, you want it on DSP LLE recompiler, but most games is HLE emulation fast. You would you don't would you wouldn't want an LLE interpreter low. That would be not good. Uh, you don't need these two ticks, that's not important, and you can adjust the volume here, but as in this clip, then commit one. GameCube, IPL, you just need to look at IPL settings, skip BIOS, that will um, get your games quicker and load the menus quicker. System language, whatever language is here you prefer. Uh, MISC settings on Nintendo Wii tab. Um, use uh, Europe GB60 mode, PAL60. Um, have this tick for American. So the Europe's and yeah, it's American and Europe's. Yes, aspect ratio should be 16 to 9. Um, you can have a USB key or SD card if you want. Path don't really matter. That's the games. All right. So now we're into um graphics. So let's give me a minute to load it. Um, most of the games I use direct 311. Saying um. It says here that Direct 3D9 is usually the fastest one. Direct 3D11 is actually the fastest one and not Direct 3D9. Because when I played Wii Sports with Direct 3D9, it did lag out quite a lot. So yeah. Um, adapter, whatever adapter you have, just I'll just go into HD graphics. Um, the full screen resolution, you'd normally have it on the highest one, but for some reasons I have problems. I don't know why, but yeah. So the safest one I have is um, 120 Um So I suggest you just the whatever the highest one, wh whatever the wh whatever highest resolution there is, just use that one. Um, in this case, I'm using 120, 120, 280 by 720. The aspect ratio should be 416 to 9. Has full screen. Yeah, if you want to. Um, v Sync, I just left it on and I've had no problems. Shirt FPS and Hide Mouse Cursor, definitely. Or if you're like these P 
people who want to experiment stuff and give a benchmark. Um, this is a really useful tool for you. Log a PSP file or go into a certain directory so you can set benchmarks for your frame rates per second. Okay, so moving on to enhancements. The internal resolution, depending on the performance of your computer, um, Intel Core i3s or AMDs, whatever AMD, um, I'd leave on 1 or 1.5 times native. Um, if you're the Intel Core i5 and high end i5, around 2.4, 2.5 gigahertz computers, 2 to 2 times native. Times native. Um, 3 to 4 is the Intel Core i7s and um, auto um, auto window size and auto multiple of 640 by 520 is for the you can give it a go but I recommend you have a pretty beefy computer for these auto tabs and for 3 for 2 times 2.5 3 and 4 times if you're if you're like if you have an Intel Core i3 or any other similar processor um, you'd use 1 times or 1 times 1.5 times native I just use one times. Anti-aliasing, I just left on none. Antiscrophic filtering filtering. Now never just keep it on one because apparently when I thought like it's on one, why is this like on a low setting? I put it to a maximum and I had the worst experience of gaming ever. The the, the whole game is literally glitched out. It's everything's everywhere, like the Mii's are like not acting properly, they're not even hitting the ball properly and there's some sports. The title didn't even load up properly, the colour was like a black and white. It was such a nightmare for that one game experience. So I just left it on one, I changed it to one. I'm absolutely fine. Um, scaled EFB copy, you must have this on because it will increase the quality of the textures and you'll have no problems. Um, I didn't take any of these so yeah you might as well just leave scale efb copy on now moving on to hacks um in, in the embedded frame buffer we'll need um these two ticks skip, skip efb access from cpu and ignore format unless you're ready by default now efb copies you should not disable efb copies we will need this on texture and not ram because ram will um heavily decrease the speed of your emulation when I have done texture, it's actually um, good. For the texture cache, you must have it on um, safe or around the middle. But I kept it on safe, so you have less errors. If you keep on fast, it will increase the performance, but you're more likely to get more um, texture errors. External frame buffer, you're gonna just leave on disable. And other, um, just copy this basically. So you would need OpenCL texture decoder and fast depth calculation. Because some of these versions, you know, might have the same one. Well, just um, give it a go. Some of these are experimental, as shown. You could just um, just just test around with these other tick options and see what's best for you. For advanced, this is all the developer stuff. We don't need to mess around with this. And it close. Let's give it a second to oh, just. Um, um, analyze everything okay now we've done with the graphics now you're gonna this only applies to Intel HD graphics if not then you could skip this step step so if you have an Intel HD graphics like me you're gonna right click on and graphics properties just wait for it to load no that every Intel um core processor is gonna that about Sorry, um, this might be different um, by the looks and options. Well, the options are the same, but it's just um, um, structured differently. So if you like have the Intel HD graphics, like it'll get to th these all have the same options and same everything, but they just go different ways, different paths, and different options. So yeah. So you want to go into 3D, put it on performance and not quality, on performance. Um, you can look at power, maximum performance, you must. Um, display, I think nothing important in that, just hit apply. 
Okay, okay, then we've done the graphics. So now we're gonna load up um, our game that you want to play and just wait for it to load up. This might be a bit laggy because I've been using a um, recorder for this. So this could get a bit laggy. So I apologize for the lag. Yeah, see, it's quite slow now. And you can see the FPS is running on a 30 to 34. That's a recommended speed. But you can see um, everything's loading up fine. So if I just drop the emulation here. Um, that's it, YouTube. That's how you um, speed up Dolphin, your Dolphin emulator, whatever version of it, for free by using the latest, 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 latest version of Razer Cortex, a new game booster that's recommended to use. It really, really helps. I've actually been struggling to get a good FPS. I thought I'd needed to change my hardware. Um, but actually this worked out, this works for your Razer Cortex, so love your Razer Cortex. So that's it for the video guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe, I'll be posting some other videos on other topics. So yeah, if you have any suggestions of what to put online for, I'll post it, um, post it in the comments below and I'll try and respond to it um, as ASAP. So long guys.